Hey guys, welcome to Smart Trends. Nancy Clancy and the Super Sleuth. A story about a young detective girl. Nancy Clancy, book one, Super Sleuth. Written by Jane O'Connor. Illustrations by Robin. Chapter one, hardly a mystery. Nancy Clancy was all set to solve a mystery. She had a fancy magnifying glass complete with rhinestones. She had a spiral notepad and a flashlight. She had sunglasses, a hat with a floppy brim, and a pink trench coat. A trench coat was the kind of raincoats that detectives wore. She had superb detective skills. She was naturally nosy, so she was good at snooping. Investigating was the professional word for snooping. Really, the only thing Nancy was missing was a mystery. If only more criminals lived around here, she said to her father. He was at the kitchen table reading the Sunday sports pages. What? He said without looking up. Nobody ever gets kidnapped. I bet there's never been a jewel heist. Then in case her dad didn't know, Nancy added, that means a jewel robbery. Nancy sighed. I wish we lived somewhere like River Heights. That was where Nancy Drew lived. Nancy loved the Nancy Drew books. She had read five so far. In River Heights, criminals are lurking around every corner. Hmm, sounds fun, her dad murmured. Nancy's mother came into the kitchen. Nancy's little sister trailed behind her. She had on blue flippers that made a slapping sound as she walked. Have either of you seen Jojo's snorkel mask? Nancy's mom asked. Nancy's little sister hardly ever took off her snorkel mask or flippers. Jojo and her friend Freddy liked to pretend they were deep sea divers searching for buried treasure. Nancy's mom poured herself coffee. We've looked everywhere. It's a mystery where it went. Mystery? Nancy heard just the magic word. Okay, so it wasn't a big deal mystery, but all great detectives had to start somewhere. She spread out her arms. Ta-da! Nancy Clancy Super Sleuth, at your service. Aw, honey, her mom smiled. You'll look for it? Sure, my rates are very reasonable, Nancy paused. Only kidding, you're family, so my services are free. Nancy went and slipped on her pink trench coat. It was important to dress like a professional. Jojo, I need to ask you a few questions, she said, pulling the tr- notepad from her pocket. Trust me, we'll get to the bottom of this. At that moment, Brie appeared at the back door. She was wearing a trench coat too. Hers was purple. Jojo left us at our house. Brie was holding a snorkel mask. Thanks, Nancy's mom said. Then she turned to Nancy. Sorry, sweetie. Nancy scowled. Her first case was closed before it even got opened. I have to pick up a book for my mother. It's at the twins' house, Brie told Nancy. Come with me. Hope you enjoyed chapter one. Make sure you to comment what you think is going to happen next. And make sure to follow our channel for more updates on this amazing story. Make sure to listen to chapter two. See you in the next chapter.